All right, and welcome to episode 20 of Half Moon Bay. You can see we're actually going to start a new city today. Um, and you may notice there's a little bit of difference in my road menus. So, all right, first off, took a couple of weeks off. Nothing against you guys. You're all a lot of fun. Um, it was more just um, playing around with some, some new mods, like the 3K mod. And um, I'm not going to use it yet for my series. But that being said, it's really cool. <laughs> it, it basically extends the boundaries. And if you look, um, like the boundary is here right now. With the 3K mod, the boundary goes out to like here. But there's some issues with placement. You can't always plot buildings on certain sides. And it needs a little bit of work. So before I use it for a series, I, I wanted to, to have some upgrades. But one of the results of that is this Project ACAR road menu, which separates out the roads, which is super helpful. So that way you can figure out, you know, all, all the... It's easier to find all the roads. Like if you guys watched me in the past few episodes, it's sorting through huge amount of road menus, and that is just so tedious. <laughs> so this will help out. And I hope that they apply it to this, which is another mod that I'll be using heavily um, to help with placement. It's called the RCI Plot Mod. Um, and, and this stuff isn't on my, um, my post yet for, uh, for the mods that I use. I'll have to update that. But this basically has every single residential, commercial, industrial building. In, and you can plop them. And they grow just like normal buildings. They abandon just like normal buildings. But this way you don't have to wait for uh, expansion to see certain things happen. Uh, so, so I'll be using that too. One issue with it, as you can see, there are no labels. There are no separations. It's just a huge, long list of buildings. And luckily, I've played the game enough that I happen to know what most of them are just by looking at them. But it's still, as you can see, just a ridiculously long menu of stuff. So, in, with that in mind, let's get started here. And I think what we're going to do... Oh yeah, Avery Ozzy, if, you, if you've never seen mods for this, go to uh, simtropolis.com. Um, here, I'll type it in the chat here. Sim... Uh, if I can spell terrapolis.com. There you go. If you go there, that's where all the mods are. They have a bunch of SimCity mo uh, 4 mods and stuff as well, if you still play that game, which is also a very fun game. One of the other little mods that went along with some of the Project ACAR stuff is the Regional Bulldoze tool. So I can actually bulldoze, you know, all this stuff if I feel like it. But I'm, I'm not going to for this game because I don't, I don't want to mess with any of that. And if you, if you bulldoze too much, it can cause issues, and yeah, you don't, you don't want to really do that. But let's get this started here. Oh, that's right. There's one other road that I put in that I, that I um, used, and that's a regional freeway. This is uh, Skystorm's mod. This is the one that lets you, if you, you know, make curves, it lets you lower down and make rivers and lakes and stuff like that. So if I ever feel like doing that kind of thing, I can. Uh, okay, enough about the mods. Let's get this entrance going. And I think what we're going to do here is we're going to have the freeway come straight in and then we're gonna we're gonna split it here, and then we're gonna like halfway through we're gonna we're gonna just T intersection, and then we're gonna have have it come over into um, an avenue that runs around the whole city. So let's have this. Let's see. I think I want the one that's going this way to be raised because it's going to be raised just through this middle part of the city. And then right in here is where we're going to have the side to side where it's going to T intersection out into the avenues. Or at least that's the plan. You can see one of the other little bugs that's with the some of the regional road tools is that it doesn't um, it doesn't demolish trees. 
so there's a little tree over there. I can I can get rid of it here, but that's another problem with the regional tools or with the the 3K uh, mod. Oh, I should be able to get rid of it. Should be able to. But yeah, that's another problem with the 3K tools is when you're building out of the boundaries. Huh, that's weird. Anyway, when you're building out of the boundaries, the the roads don't um, don't demolish trees, so you're left with trees overgrowing roads, and yeah, it can be interesting. Um, let's speed up some time here. Uh, as I mentioned too in an earlier one, I sent ten million dollars to each city. Uh, on. So that way we have starting cash. Oh yeah, that's right. I actually want to start a little bit farther out with... Where's the one I'm looking for? Go two lane? Or should we go four lane? Let's go four lane for the entrance. Um, and not elevated from there. Let's see, I think we'll go here. And then let's see where our guides say this other one should be. Here. I think we can send it out a little bit better. Oops, this one. And maybe even just a little bit more over. That was too far. Uh, if the sound, let me know how the sound is going too, guys. Uh, anybody watching? That way I can make sure that... I, I just changed the sound setup just a little bit to try to get better quality. So you have to let me know how that worked out. Alright. That should be a good starting point for this. Then we need to do the little one-way these. this into here like that, and this into here like that, and we have a kind of an ugly but working intersection. And then I'll want to take this off, and this off, and we'll start with the elevated roads, or the elevated uh, freeway. You know, another interesting thing I could do here, thinking about this, is instead of doing them close together, I think we're going to do this. We're going to do something a little more interesting. Let's do... Let's see. This is going to have to come across this way. going to do here is split these roads up. So we're going to have one road going this way. And I need just a crossroad here so I can get the distance. Because I want to put commercial buildings in, in between. I think that would look really cool. And then I need the government menu. And here starts the fun. 
let's find some commercial buildings for let's see what would be in there medium wealth let's see where are we in the city because that's the other thing i gotta figure out is what do i want for wealth level for this city and let's do Okay, let's put low wealth back here, and then maybe medium wealth kind of in the middle, and then high wealth on the outside, or on the, on the tip. Okay. All right, let's try that. So this is going to be low wealth in here for now, which are right about here. So let's see, we have this width of building. That's the same width. So is that. Yeah, I think these... Oh, that one's skinnier even. That one's a little wider. I think the majority are this width, though. Oh, that's even skinnier, too. Yeah, see, the majority of types, though, seem to be either this skinnier width or the same width that I have. So let's let's do the width that I have. I mean, it looks like we actually did a pretty good job of centering that. And I know this may not look like anything yet, but it will look cool eventually. And that's not quite centered, though. So we're actually going to need to come out a little bit. Or come in this way. But not by very much. Something like this. was the skinny one there that was the that's the width that we're looking for and that actually looks pretty centered looking at it from here I think we can get just a little bit closer nope that's too close it's probably about as close as we can get Okay. So with that <coughs> in place, let's extend it so I know where I'm going. this side get it right about the same length Actually, I don't want this to be this way, because I want it to be diagonals.
turn these guides off here. <laughs> Messing me up. That's so close. That was too far. There we go. And then take this out. And then we get curved. the way that I want them to. That should work. Except I really don't like that. Wanting to give me a weird thing there. No, okay, there's not much I can do about it. So then, let's find a straight point on these roads. Right about there. And then I think. I think we're going to need to demolish these back like four spots. Something like that, because then that'll let me have the ramp up while still being able to have these roads underneath. kind of see what I'm going after now. Let's actually take one more off of each of these. Because that way I can guarantee to have enough, enough room. the roads in place. <coughs> or these pylons. Damn it. Well, I guess that's not that big a deal. We can deal with that. And then one of each of these to go each way. Alright. Now we want to figure out where this center intersection is going. And I think that's going to go through the middle here. Question mark. Let's see. Something like here. So 
So then we'll need to take everything below past that point out. And then everything above, probably from right here. And then we'll do two, um, two of these, uh, two lane freeways on the ground. We'll do them like this. And I have drew that going the wrong direction. Lane freeway. There we go. We need this direction. And I will also need these one lane ramps. And then we'll need one way, one lane ramps going the other way. Hmm. Just thinking about this, I should really be doing two lane ramps. Well, yeah, I need to do two lane. Because we'll have each of these split off into two two lane ramps. Two lane, oh, whoops, there it is. At some point we're going to have the two lane ramp split off here and then the other one go across because we're going to do the, the kind of trumpety type of looking thing. So let's do this. Two lane elevated ramps. Same with this side. And then I think I want the transition down. to happen here, maybe even closer, maybe right here, actually, let's try that, 
and then same spot over here. Should be the way that we want it. Because then we'll take this out. Nose out. Oh, getting in dark time, I gotta speed it up. There's the one I'm looking for. And we want this one to transition down. Mm, this part's a little messed up, but I think we can fix it. Huh, that one actually came out a little nicer. So then, they'll have one straight spot, and then that's where they go on. One straight spot. It's not connecting correctly, but it'll have to work for now. Yeah, see, they, I, don't, I don't know why the textures aren't lining up for me today. And then we're going to take this off. This off. And these are going to be two-lane elevated ramps. Oh, alright. So we are going to have to take some of this out. to just past where it snap. Touch more over. That should work. Yeah, there's no change there essentially. <coughs> okay, now to get to the bottom here, 
probably have to come this way to connect. Do a two-lane transition. Can we do something that looks good? It comes down. Okay, so we're gonna need to bring this out a little farther, I guess. Something like this. And then we could actually do something from this side to come up. Yeah, that might actually look really good. And then there would only be one entrance onto here though and then get out of here and either... Oh, I guess there'd only need to be one entrance. Right, because one of them is an exit. Yeah, alright, so we should be good. So let's try this right about here. get this eventually. That actually looks really good. Yeah, that came out looking really good. So then we'll need this middle part, but I don't think we'll need any of the rest of this. Oh no, because that's how they'll have to get back on. Okay. So we'll give them one, two, there. One, two, there. Then over here, we have one, two, one, two, we can actually do this one. Now we just need to transition, or not transition, but uh, use some ramps, two lane ramps, to connect all this stuff. I don't want my guys. Hmm. Let's try this again. There we go. And this one transitions in. And this one transitions out. Or not transitions, but you know. 
curves. Cool, so we got our T intersection in place here. Now, let's start drawing. So because I want this to be like kind of a commercial center too, I think we should put our um, boats, these things. We should put some of these in so that I can figure out where they need to go. I think maybe we'll have two on this side. Hey, little Reuben, thank you. Glad you're liking it. Two like that. And then maybe we'll do two down here. Like this. time too so I'm not wasting money do the same over here there so in the next part of this would be to put in these middle areas or you know to try to grow some buildings in here now can I draw this out more now that I've moved some stuff roads overlap okay so it doesn't it must not like the transitions or something Or it just doesn't like to to be drawn under. Oh, all right. Let's do it this way, actually. Let's do it with regular streets instead of one ways. Because then I, I know for a fact I can get stuff to grow under it more correctly. I still wish the pylons weren't there, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Much better. So we would have one of these across here. And let's put a building in there. Um, scroll through some menus here for a while. Hope you guys enjoy that part. Uh, this one? So, yeah, that's the right distance. Oh, that's perfect. Um, let's pick a cool looking one, though. Oh. Hmm. Did I draw these too close? <laughs> I, th I thought I drew them. See, like those, I can fit a bunch. But I thought I drew it the right distance for all of these to work. But maybe I only did it for, the, like, a couple of these. Like this particular one. Damn it. Well, okay, let's just start it here. Yeah, I can see this won't even fit on this side. Damn, I didn't think about that. I should have drawn these a little better. But that's okay. And we'll need one. Something like that, but I think that's a little too far. 
probably here. And then, let's see. More commercial of that size. Oh, it will fit that one. Cool. Oh, uh, these buildings, Little Ruben, are uh, just RCI buildings. They're ploppables from a mod, I ironically called RCI Plop Mod. <laughs> this needs to come in a little bit. Yeah, the problem, Little Ruben, is that they are not sorted. Well, I mean, they're kind of sorted, but they're not labeled. They're not, yeah, it's a little tedious. Um, which one did I put over here? Is it this one? Or this one? That'll work. And then maybe I can get another one in here. I think that might be too close. A couple more. There we go. Okay, yeah, see, that's too close. There we go. Oh, Pine Racer, uh, are you saying Elric has put out a categorized version of this? Oh, that would be helpful. I'll have to. I'll have to check that out after this episode. Um. Oh yeah, little Ruben. They're they're exactly like normal commercial or or ac actually any of them. They're normal buildings. It's just that you can plop them instead of having to wait for them to grow. And they'll abandon or catch fire or you know whatever, get upset, just like normal buildings. Um, they're just like I say, you could you can plop them instead of having to. Damn it, is that still too close? Oh, it, it's not... It's not published yet, then, Prime Pine Racer. Okay. I was like, I swear I checked that stuff out, like, just the other day. Not that that means anything. They, up they update stuff quite often, which is good. And, I mean, these are, like, they're somewhat sorted. Like, you can, it goes from low to medium to high for the most part. But it gets a little iffy when you're doing commercial buildings and trying to figure out which ones are which and... All that fun stuff. Let's see, that one's just a touch too wide. Oh, uh, wait, wait. wait. YOLO McSwagons Gil- <laughs> wait. McSwagons <Mix> Sill? <laughs> um, I got that much cash because I made a bunch of money in my electronics city over here. And sent it all around. So 
So now that we have this out, I just need to leave the stubs for these. So I know where to like connect stuff to. There we go. And I suppose I could like plant some parks or something in here. See, this is bugging me. I wonder if this road isn't hooked up right. Let me see. I should have some people coming in at some point. Oh, no, I shouldn't because none of this is connected to, like, anything. So let's just do this real quick. Hey, Robo, um, no, I don't, or RoboGall, whatever, <laughs> no, I don't use the 3K mod for now, and that's just because it needs some work. Um, you know, only being able to plop on two sides of things, uh, there's, there's some issues with it that just need to be worked out. Um, I will gladly use it probably with the next version. Um, I, I'd imagine they'd have things fixed up. There we go. Now they're coming in. And I need to see how they come into the... Yeah, see, th they're not actually going correctly. I need some guys to come through here so I can show you. Of course, they're now they're not. Oh, and I, we, I suppose we need an exit for these guys, too. Oops, that's not the right one. There. Now there's an in and an out. I don't know why it's saying it's not connected though. Oh, because the other sides aren't connected. Damn it. Alright. Of course I had to go and try to figure this out real quick before I actually did anything else. Yeah, RoboGall. Totally set it up, play with it. Um... It's it's really interesting stuff. So sooner that, that they get all, everything worked out, you know, the better for everybody. There now everything is connected. But I just I want to see. Yeah, see they're going down the. I don't know if you saw it there, but they're going down the center lane of this, and I think that and you can see the grass growing through. I think that has something to do with the regional bulldoze. Because I will bulldoze this and then redraw. Let's see, I need part of this. Come in just inside. And then. Connect that to there. And then I can actually grab this and change the density on it. So now there might be a little bit of a break right there, but you don't see it from very high up. You have to get pretty close. But um, now people will drive on the right sides. They'll, they'll go where they're supposed to. If anybody is going to be driving in, actually. <laughs> But, okay, cool. You get the point. These I don't actually need for now. Yeah, see, now, now you can see they're actually driving on side zero they're supposed to. I didn't need those in place for now, and I want to get rid of the rest of this so I can finish 
building this stuff. Alright, now that I got that part figured out, let's do this area. Flat as I might like it, but it should work. <laughs> Hello, Bacon Destructor. Oh, there's another second spot over here? Alright, we'll just put one in. Nothing on this one. Okay. So I th think... I'm thinking what I'm going to do here is actually connect this road with this one. And then base this. Maybe not. Maybe that's not what I want to do. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the avenue. Because I know I want the avenue to basically go around the outside of the city. But I still need to be able to make a T intersection into it with this stuff. So. Oh, Bacon Destructor, the Udon mod is something that you're seeing here. It's a unidirectional road networks. As you can see, we have one-way roads here for freeways. And the L train is the elevated train, much like they have in, uh, you know, Chicago. And, and um, I guess there's parts of the subway are elevated in New York and stuff like that. So, I guess, I guess we should just start with the intersections for the um, avenue here. Pour out. Actually, I think I need to take some more. I want this to come down right here. And then I'm going to do a similar thing to like I did on the other side with the or on, on the main intersection with the T. But I need Raised one lane freeway ramp. Um, yeah. So I really just need this to come across here. And then I'm going to need another one over here. Which is actually too far. So is that. That looks about right. Then I'll need to take these back far enough to do a transition. It's going to be curved. And it's going to go... Oop, come on. Hmm. 
Maybe what I'll have to do here is actually just split these off. And have this come... Uh, I'm going to use some guides here. Have this one come down this way. And then along the edge here. This is just a lot of tedious work, as you guys have, I'm sure, seen before with, if you've ever watched my stream. Just trying to make sure everything gets the way it's supposed to be. I think we'll finish up this part of the intersection, and then we'll, we'll call this a stream for now, but we'll finish this up first. guides. There we go. And then we'll make a curve here. Sorry, I just, uh, it's been about an hour there, uh, Bacon Destructor. And that's my usual stream time. But I may have another stream later today. Okay, you're not going to play nice. Oh, okay, it kind of played nice. Now we need to do the same thing over here. Okay. And it needs to be right about here. Well, I'm, like I said, Bacon Destructor, I may do another episode a little bit later today. But I do like to keep these in one hour chunks. Let's actually make this a little bit longer. Something more like that. It wants to curve it, like, really hard. Oh, I see what it's doing. There we go. I kept messing with my curve and making it not look right. There we go. And then we can take this out. And make a curve from it. This one will come out like that. Boom. A little longer on this side, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. But with that, we're going to call this a stream for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. <coughs>
if you want to catch me live, you can always follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Tinvec. I do put uh, all my SimCity stuff, at least, I put up on YouTube after the fact. So you can always, you know, watch that stuff there. That's at uh, youtube.com slash Tinvec. And I also have a website that kind of lists all that stuff as well. It's just Tinvec.com. So you can find all this information there. Anyway, again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.